Hi friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to use Python to send WhatsApp message to ourselves. In a previous video, we were able to automatically get product pricing information from Amazon website and send that to our Gmail. Now we're adding WhatsApp as another way of communication channel, make sure that we won't miss the sale. For this tutorial, we'll need a working mobile number and a WhatsApp account. And we're going to use the same Selenium and Chrome driver that we used in the first part of this tutorial. So let's import Selenium web driver, then open this URL, which is the WhatsApp web version. Replace the mobile number with your own mobile number that's linked to a WhatsApp account. Okay, let's run the code and see what happens. So we are at the screen that's asking us to log in by scanning this QR code. Okay, let's use our phone to scan it to log in. Now we're logged in. That's nice. I'm going to close the browser and run the code again. So the code runs for the second time and it's asking us to log in again. Wait a second. Does it mean that we have to manually scan the QR code to log in every time? That really sucks because we're trying to build a bot that should run on its own. Okay, so let me explain what's happening here. By default, every time Selenium opens a browser, it's using a blank slate user profile. If we were to check the browsing history and cookies, there's nothing stored inside this browser because it's basically a blank slate profile every single time. And that's why WhatsApp didn't stay logged in because this specific instance of Chrome driver doesn't have our login information. What we need to do to fix this is by setting a custom Chrome user profile and then store all the cookies and password information in that specific profile. So every time Selenium will use that user profile to open up a Chrome browser and that way the browser will have our WhatsApp login information and therefore it should stay logged in every time we go to the WhatsApp website. To set a custom Chrome user profile, let's create an empty folder called WhatsApp profile. And then in our code, we need to import the Chrome options object from Selenium. And then in the add argument method, we're going to add this user data dir argument equal to the custom user profile folder that we just created. We don't need to do anything else because Selenium will create the user profile at that folder location. And then when we create this web driver object, we also have to pass the Chrome options object into the driver. Let's relaunch the browser and right now it's still asking us to scan the QR code to log in. That's okay because now we have a custom user profile and we just need to do this once. Let's go ahead and use our phone to scan the QR code. Then we are logged in. Let's close the browser and test again to see if we can stay logged in. Rerun the code and as you can see we're still logged in without needing to scan anything. So also we see that this URL is already the conversation page so we are ready to send a message. All we need right now is to input the message in the chat box and then press enter key on the keyboard to send it out. Now, although this is WhatsApp, we're still inside a web browser, which means that Selenium can control it. Let's go ahead and find the X path for this chat box, right click and inspect. And we're going to copy the X path. I'm going to create a chat box object and assign it to driver dot find element by X path and paste in that X path we just copied. So we have this chat box box object we can interact with. So for example, we can send keystrokes to this chat box using Selenium. Chatbox.send keys and we're going to say hello from Python. And in order to send it out, we need to press the enter key. Let's import the keys object from Selenium. And the keys object contains special keys on, on our keyboard. For example, the enter key, the space key, arrow keys, page, up and down, etc. If you want to know what keys you can use with this keys object, just type the dir keys in the Python idle and it will display all the special keys to us. So what we need now is the return key, which is the enter key. So we're going to say chatbox.send keys and keys.return. And that seems to be working and we just received a WhatsApp message sent by ourselves. If you guys enjoyed the video so far, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel and keep me motivated to pump up more videos like this. I hope you learned something today and in the next video, we'll try to put everything together so that we have a complete bot, meaning that it will check the price first. If it finds the price drop, then it sends us an email and also a WhatsApp message. We're going to use the task scheduler to run the bot automatically every day to monitor the price for us. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.